Shout out to G-Man Boxing. All right, people. Yeah, I watched this fight. KSI knocks out. Is it Fraza Temper in the first round? I think that's how you say his name. And for anyone wondering, no, I didn't pay for it. There was not much on tonight, so I had a look at this. And there's a, there's a few things I want to talk about with regards to this YouTube card. I watched a couple of the fights on it, and obviously I wanted to watch the KSI fight. And, you know, in two weeks' time, the arena they had their fight in, the Wembley Arena, that is going to have Anthony Yard versus Artur Petrbiev. Now, I love that fight. As many of you will know, I'm going over to it myself. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. I think the undercard is going to be good. Looking forward to seeing Moses Atuma. So, you know, oh, I can't say enough good things about that fight. But it's going to be in the same arena that this fight was in. And I'm telling you now, people, I would be surprised if it looks as packed in two weeks' time as it did tonight. I really will. I'll be surprised. In terms of this fight... KSI, in terms of YouTube boxers, KSI doesn't look too bad. Yes, he makes a lot of mistakes. You can see that. Very novice in certain things he does. The finish wasn't too bad. It was a right-hand left hook, which is actually quite... Normally, no, normally with the right-hand left hook. So, a lot of the times, if you're trying to throw with power, throw a left hook with power... The, Unless you've got very good athleticism, you shouldn't lead with a left hook. Now, sometimes what you can do is you can hook off the jab. But the best way to get a good hooden left hook is if you actually lead with your right. You're actually in position to throw a big left hook by doing that. And that's kind of what KSI did. So he hit him with a right hand, hit him with a left hook, and then knocked him out. He, he was done. I mean, I'd say this that's probably the hardest he's been hit because I would imagine these YouTubers, maybe with the exception of Jake Paul and KSI, Many of them, just judging by the look of them, they're not going full contact sparring. They can't be. No way. So I'd say that's probably the first real shot he's ever been hit with. Went down. That was all she wrote. In terms of the show, now, my stance on YouTube boxing, when it came around first, I'll admit, I was kind of like, what is the point in this? And I'm talking about way back in 2019, I think was when it started. I was kind of like, what is the point in all this? you know really but the longer it's gone on and look i very seldom watch it there was there wasn't anything on tonight there wasn't doing anything you know my friends weren't going out so i said there's boxing on in the wee hours of the morning in the states fa jagba but for now you know there's only so much reading i can do i'll, I'll have a watch of something so i went and i watched this and honestly like there has to be a trickle down from this into the real pro box and there has to be that arena was packed you know it looked like you, you could have told me that joshua was fighting whoever or tyson fury was fighting whoever and i would have said okay because it looks that kind of atmosphere and, and that big arena look huge in there you know i've been to the wembley arena and i haven't seen a full like that it's not a massive stadium to be fair it does look the tv does deceive a bit with the Wembley Arena it is actually much smaller if you see it in real life but it still looked absolutely bursting at the scene so YouTube boxing for me I watch it when there's something that interests me or there's nothing else on I don't begrudge people watching it were the zone going to get a penny of my money hell no they weren't going to get a penny of my money for this I pay my subscription that's enough for something like this anyway in the states I seen someone tweet that they were charged well they didn't buy it in the end but they were going to watch it to their horror they said it was forty dollars forty dollars really crazy and one thing that i find very bizarre about this whole card is the amount of people having a go at eddie hearn for it and putting it on pay-per-view now a lot of people don't like hearn and i think so he can rub people the wrong way yes but to blame him for this he's not associated with this it's on the zone. He he is not in charge of the zone. He doesn't tell them put this on pay per view. He matchroom aren't associated with misfits. Misfits are running this on their own. If any promoter in boxing you want to be pissed off at, you should look at Callis Ireland, who was there. And again, I'm not saying you should be, but don't be mad at her. What the hell? He didn't have any dealings with this. It's not it's not his show. So yeah, I've seen people bizarrely criticizing Hearn for this. It's nothing to do with Hearn. You know, it's just it's a it's a misfit show. KSI is his own 
company, Callis Aaron is working with them, and that's what that is. As I said, I've seen a few fights on the card. It Was I entertained? To some extent, I mean, as I said, there's entertainment at all level to box, and with some, it was just looking at them and just thinking, Jesus, you are so novice you know, it's weird, like, but, but it's like you're evenly matched because you're both pure novices. And, you know, it's like if you ever see a spar, if you ever see a spar between two guys who maybe have their first spar, you are going to see swinging like hell because they're going to be nervous. They're more focusing on hitting their opponent rather than not getting hit. And once they, and they're so worried about what's coming back, you will see swings left, right, and center. You really will. You'll see swings left, right, and center. I'd always say, when you're sparring and you're starting out, realistically, what you should do is just work off the jab and just don't get hit. Just work on not getting hit. You know, move your head, you know, pull away from the shots, roll with the shots, and just keep your guard up real tight. That's the best thing you can do until you get comfy and then the rest will follow. But just work on not getting hit and use your jab. That's the best thing to do. As I said, in terms of this card, some of the fights I enjoyed, I'd love to know what the buy rate was. I'd say probably wasn't i say a lot of people would have bought that because the place looked absolutely packed and my whole thing about youtube boxing has always been this if you don't like it that's fine if you like it again that's fine but the reason why i'm not against it is because it's bringing eyes onto the sport now some people will turn around and say but not in a good light well if some people don't like youtube boxing that's fine but if people are watching these youtubers fight and they hadn't been a normal boxer. Say they, they knew maybe who Joshua was and Fury was and maybe Canelo. But that's it. That's all they knew. They watched this and they enjoy it. You know, they, they said, oh, I love, I love watching these YouTubers fight. I wonder what the real boxers are like. And all of a sudden then, well, they're watching more boxing. They're watching a boxer show. They're watching another show in the zone. They're watching a Queensbury show. Maybe they're looking at something in the States. It's getting the ball rolling. It's getting more fans into the sport. And I've said this once and I'll say it again. And if I'm still doing this in 15 years time, or God knows where I am in 15 years time, but it, it'll be something in boxing. I love boxing. We will, at some point in the next 10 to 15 years, have a fighter be a very prominent fighter, maybe even a world champion. And he will be asked, what inspired you to get into boxing? And I'm telling you now, they're going to turn around and say, it was a Jake Paul, it was a KSI, it was one of these YouTuber cards, and then I, I'm telling you now people, guarantee it, that's gonna happen, that will happen, because I remember I had Love Boxing TV on before Christmas, and I think it was Kaya who was saying that, you know, he showed his son a few fights and this, that, you know, he never really showed much interest, put on the YouTuber boxing, he was all into it, he shadow boxing everything in the living room, so you see the way it's bringing a new audience in. And so, again, some people are very fickle in their way. They're just like, you know, oh, but ah, it's, it's not real boxing. At the end of the day, if it trickles into real boxing, does it matter? Realistically? I don't think it does, really. I mean, if it's if it's getting more eyes on the sport, it's helping the promoters put on better shows, it's getting more eyes on the shows, the fighters are going to get paid more, etc., etc. It's a good thing, you know? If, if boxing was just purely the hardcore... It would go nowhere. The fighters wouldn't be getting paid. You, People like us, Rob Tebbert and stuff like that, I mean, our videos wouldn't do the same numbers. It's mainly the casual audience that bring in the numbers. Boxing shows everything. So without them, where is the sport going to go? And if we're getting new eyes on the sport because of this, for me, it's a good thing. In terms of KSI versus that guy Tempa, I mean, he looked out of his depth, truth be told. And the first time he got hit with a decent shot, he went down. This was scheduled for six rounds. Didn't look to me like it was going to go six. I don't know what the plan is for KSI. I think if they did him versus Jake Paul or the winner, Jake Paul, Tommy Fury, I'm telling you now, that's going to do some serious numbers if they did do that. Serious numbers. It would. I'm telling you, that would do serious numbers. I don't know if it would break records, but it would be serious numbers. So, well, that's my thoughts on this. Let me know yours in the comments below. Tell me what you think of YouTuber boxing. Are you for it, against it, indifferent? A bit like me where it's like, I don't mind it. I don't watch a lot of it. But if there's nothing else on and I know it's there, I'll, I'll have a watch and see. And there is some fights, YouTuber fights that I do find entertaining. I would watch, you know, Jake Paul at this stage. 
I mean, would I even call him a YouTube boxer anymore? I mean, he is taking it very serious. So him and Tommy Fury, I, I consider that a real fight. It's a pro fight. And, you know, take my money, I'll pay for that. I will pay to watch that 100% if it's on whenever in the UK or Saudi, whatever it's going to be. I'll pay, I'll do a live watch along, etc. Yep, take my money, there you go. Seriously, I think that fight would be entertaining as hell. Entertaining as hell. That's my thoughts on it. Let me know yours in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video, people. Smash the like button if you could. Hit subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. For now, I'll talk to you, lads. Peace.